us for some of kind of what, what the emotions when when you saw Bolt take that one and say just to take away. Um yeah, a lot of emotions as I can say. Obviously I felt I got out the back decent enough. I didn't think that it was definite six, but I thought I had a good chance. Um, then I saw him take the catch, then I saw him stumble, so I figured ah he might have to throw it in, we can get a single and get it down to the other end, or it might still go for six. So yeah, a lot of emotions ran through. Obviously as soon as I realized he had caught it, he had stayed inside, then it was just like so close so far. Um, so yeah, I guess it was emotional. What, what, what did the Kiwi guys say to you afterwards? Um, no, they said they were one of the better one day innings. You know, good good fight, good heart, very well played. Um, keep your head up. Yeah, so I mean, I appreciate the respect from um, fellow professionals. Obviously, it was a little hard to take then, um, but in hindsight, um, I probably could have been <laughs> um, a little more welcoming. Um, but they were very, they were very understanding. Obviously, as I said, a lot of emotion. So for them to come off the high of their emotion from obviously winning a close game and pay respects to what they thought was a good innings. I really appreciated that, so salute the New Zealand boys for that. Obviously had three pretty big partnerships with, with Team Ireland and Shelburne and then what, what were you saying to those guys when you were in that situation? Um, I guess the conversation kind of changed and changed with Kimar. Um, obviously Lockie and Trent came back to get wickets and we were doing well. The ground home had to bowl, Santana had to bowl. Um, and with all fairness to them, obviously, you know, facing Lockie and both a wicket, more wicket taking options. So f when we were batting with with the Grand Home and Santana, we always wanted to stay positive, um, just do the right things. Then Kimar got out, unfortunately, when Henry came back. And then with Cottrell, it was just the same thing. Um, just watch the ball, let's just take it as far down as possible, let's keep believing. And then obviously Cottrell um, got out as well. And then when Ocean came in, it was a little more clear cut. I had to be the one doing the heavy lifting. I had to score. And that was my chat with him. Um, I won't always be able to bat five balls and get a single off the last, but I'll take the first three balls. And then from the fourth ball, I'll try to get a single while still looking to hit boundaries. And if I do get into the outfield run two, um, if we drop it short in the last two balls, we get a single and you bat one ball, you're good enough. So yeah, I mean, we, we, we worked the game right down. We played it exactly how we wanted to and we're just two or three yards away from being victorious.